Hello everyone. Welcome to JJ Chem Master Class. Guys, today we are going to study a topic from photochemistry. Here we will see Arrhenius isomerization reaction and you will find the question based on the conversion of benzene to fulvene, orthoxylene to metaxylene and conversion of orthoxylene to metaxylene. So the questions are taken from BCU and uh, these topics are very important not only for MSc student but you can find these questions in CSIR net and gate examination and guys if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe it and share it with your friends if you like my videos do like it and any comments you can write in the comment section or if you have any doubt or you want me to prepare a topic and video on it please do write in the comment section I will share the link of other photochemistry videos in the description box of this video. So let's see the first problem. How benzene gets converted into fulvene photochemically? Explain what mechanism. So here they are asking you the conversion of benzene into fulvene which is the isomer of it. So what happens when you have exposure of the benzene to the uh, photochemical radiations directly? It undergoes isomerization and forms a highly strained compound or isomers. Fulvene is one of the example. So we will see the mechanism now. You have benzene on photochemical irradiation. Here one three bonding occurs. You can see if you give one two three. So a free radical if you form here. One three bond is going to form leaving behind the free radical here. Okay. So whenever you have a molecule, you convert all the double bonds into free radical and then recombine it in a way, you generate a biradical here. And this is the biradical intermediate, which on 1, 2 hydrogen shift, you can see here 1, 2 carbon position. From here, the hydrogen will shift to the 1 position and will give you the, the free radical on the adjacent carbon here. So this is again a biradical. 1 to hydrogen transfer you can show and followed by the CC bond cleavage and in the way that it is going to rearrange to form a molecule like this you can see CC bond cleavage will give you a free radical here a free radical is already there you can form a bond in between this the other are going to couple and will give you a double bond in conjugation so this is nothing but a fulvine molecule and we have this mechanism so whenever the question comes, benzene uh, on isomerization give the mechanism, you can take this example, benzene conversion to fulvene, which is a strained molecule. We know six membered molecules are more, more stable than the five membered ring. So, but under photochemical irradiation, we get all such kind of strained molecules, which is not possible under thermal condition. So this is uh, one type of question. The other is they may ask you outline the steps involved in the following photochemical conversion. So here they are converting the orthoxylene into metaxylene and its isomer paraxylene. We will see how these are converting into one another. These are again isomers. You can see we have the starting material orthoxylene which on photo irradiation will give you the biradical. The mechanism is same like the generation of biradical like we have seen in the previous question and then these two free radical will re recombine and will give you a bond in between two and you can rearrange this structure in a way like this this is nothing but it's another isomer called benzvaline so this is again uh, if you want to show the benzene derivative or benzene isomers one is fulvene and other is benzvaline and now here you have to rearrange a bond in a way that it shows the 1 to R shift and you get here metaxylene. You can see the third carbon is here shifting the second. So basically here the 1 to shift is occurring here. 1 to shift of alkyl group and gives you metaxylene. So basically whenever the mechanism they ask you conversion of orthoxylene to metaxylene you can show the benzvaline structure as an intermediate. So through benzvaline, metaxylene will form. Now we'll see for paraxylene. So you have orthoxylene on irradiation, rearrange all the double bond in a way, leaving behind the biradical. You can see here. And then this biradical is going to form a bond in between two. 
so this is nothing but it's another isomer bivar benzene and then you can show the 2 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction which i have shown here and it forms the other form of benzene isomer uh, that is called prismane and prismane after rearrangement you can see the bond opening it gives you something like this structure which is nothing but a derivative of bivar benzene only but now the position of the alkyl group you can notice after opening the bond is 1 4 so basically you can show here from 1 2 2 1 4 position that is 1 3 alkyl shift occur and it forms para xylene so this is the complete mechanism and uh, from ortho xylene to para xylene you can show the bivar benzene formation with and then prismane intermediate so whenever you want to show the conversion of ortho xylene to para xylene you can show it occurs through prismane while conversion of ortho xylene to meta xylene occurs through we have seen just now that uh, through the intermediate another form of uh, isomer of benzene that is benzvaline so like that you can show the mechanism of uh, an isomerization of arene compounds I hope you understood the topic is very important for MSc students. You can find the question based on especially 1, 2 and 1, 3 alkyl shift uh, uh, conversion of ortho xylene to meta or para xylene. I hope you understood it. All the best. Happy learning. Mm -hmm.